The presence of Nazis and white supremacists assaulting people at your protest. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I don't like Nazis. Then why? Are you, why were they here? Well, well how can I answer are there, that? If, are there views in alignment with yours? At some point, I you have think to realize. That's a foolish question. Look, do you want to know what my views are? I've watched all of your videos. Yes. Including yes, really? yes, I have. Yes. Then why would you ask such a question? Because, because this is my interpretation of your videos. You, apparently, I all to all of the people who arranged the protest against you watched all of your videos. It's like, do you want to disavow? I have 150 videos on YouTube. No, you your lectures, tell... which sparked the debate. Okay, okay. Do you I want to disavow the support? Could you let me talk to her for a moment? Then Don't call me that, please. Her. So, I have 150 lectures on YouTube. There's 500 hours of my views. Do you really if think you that you're worth all of that time? So look, I will answer your question, okay? I've studied Nazism for a very long time. It's been four decades, and I understand it very well. And I can tell you that there's some awful people lurking in the corners, and they're ready to come out. And if the radical left keeps pushing the way that it's sounds pushing, very much like a they're threat. going to come. That sounds very much like a threat. That sounds very much like a threat. Would you like to disavow the physical violence trans people were physically assaulted at this rally in your name? Would you like to disavow that violence? Yes. It's so you wish that didn't happen, and Absolutely. you watch, and I'm okay. going to post okay. this online That's that you would fine. like people okay. to not to be to be more accommodating of trans people and people of color at your events in future. I would I'm like a person there of to color. be no Mr. violence. I'm a person of color, and I felt very accommodated here. I felt like my too. voice. Thank you very much. I'm also Muslim, and I feel, feel, feel like this guy's I'm a person of color. I felt very much. You wanted to disavow. You wanted to disavow, and this is the disavow. I am not an advocate of violence. I'm speaking out the way I'm speaking out because I think this is a route to no violence. And violence is lurking. And you can say that that sounds like a threat. There was no violence at our protest, though. There was violence at your protest. So what does that because say about our views? It's not my protest. And you know, ask, asking me continually afraid of questions isn't very helpful if you actually want to have a dialogue. You have no idea if I'm your enemy. You have no idea about me. You won't use my pronouns, so I'm pretty sure you're my enemy, yes. Yeah, well, I know you think that, but I don't believe that using your pronouns is going to do you any good in the long run. I think it'll do quite the contrary. What the is what? that your medical like, opinion? What? Is that your medical opinion? Like, you I'm are aware that non-binary people are valid in the on, in the American this Psychological Association. Is that your opinion? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's about non-binary pronouns. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm, no, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that that's Did what I'm about. Did you come to the rally? Were you there when I spoke? Yes. I've been here for this whole thing. Okay, I well, I don't know that. that. I'm, it's a genuine question. I look, I think that's what's happening is that we're pushing over a line we shouldn't cross. The newest legislation is requiring people to use But you are aware that language. that's being put in place so that we can't get fired. We need to be written to the, into the Canada human rights fired. legislation that's or we can be fired for our gender identity. Okay. Okay. Well then why'd you make a fucking video about it? I've been denied housing as a trans person. These rights would protect me. Denied housing? I've been denied housing. From the state or for, for the open market? So have you been denied housing like from the government? It's illegal from either way if we had from human rights. From the government? I'm not or, or have you tried to get a house like everybody else and they said no? You're weird. You can't work. No, if the state they, has done they, that, that's a problem. They said, but if someone doesn't want to live with you, that's their right. They said, no, you're I'm trans. Really not sure how you so, no, that. if I had human rights, so, that wouldn't have fucking happened. As far as you're I'm weird. Concerned. I don't want to live as, with schizophrenic As far as people. I'm concerned, that's a terrible thing. It's too bad that that's happened. So, you don't, want us to, but you, don't want us to, but you don't want us to have protections in the human rights bill that will allow me to have employment, no, I don't allow want, me to have housing security, want, allow me to have medical care. That's what this is about. It's not about infringing on your rights or making you learn a new fucking pronoun. I don't think that's what it's about. What decide. evidence do you have that attempting to transform the way that people use pronouns is going to produce a positive effect? Because on are you aware that there is a trans boy who killed himself in psychiatric care recently because he was continuously being misgendered by his care workers? And that is my precise problem. And there have been multiple, multiple recorded instances of trans people killing themselves Straight because themselves because they are because they are not right being integrated into society. We are not looking for special treatment. We are looking to be able to integrate ourselves into society. And if you refuse. To if you refer, if you refuse to refer to us by our pronouns, which are, is not a lot to ask, they, singularly they pronouns go all the way back to Shakespeare. It's not a new thing. If you refuse to let us integrate ourselves into society, you create alienation that results in suicide. We are in a suicide epidemic right now. What are you contributing to this as a psychologist? Man, you know, you're almost impossible to talk to. You're so full of rhetoric that it's impossible to listen to you. I would be more than happy to listen to you. Yeah, really. <laughs> is devoid of rhetoric? And I did, yes, actually, I, I don't really think I am a rhetorician. Just so you know, just so you know that. 
And you know, like it's very hard to listen to you. I mean, it's very hard to attend to you because, because it's, you rattle on in your it's, with, with your ideological speech. It's not ideological. It's it. it's personal. I mean, That's what you. It's you, not personal. You haven't said a personal thing. I'm Everything talking about something, something that affects like, my community. Like, so it's just that when you say the things that you say, it, it tends, even if you didn't mean it to, it attracts people like neo-Nazis and fascists because they see an avenue to what you're saying. Even if that's not what you meant, they see an avenue in your in the idea of like a more abstract Islamic free speech. They see an avenue in that to continue to spread their hateful ideology and to make more people hateful. So that's why that's why the Nazis come here. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that's why that was. I'm perfectly aware of that. I have a calm, rational question. Okay. I won't get emotional with you. Um, so, uh, who is this legislation harming? Who is harming anybody who wants to use their own words? So, in what, in what capacities? Be, be specific. Look, it's important that people are able to use their own words. Okay. Because that's how we think. And if so, the government starts legislating how we think... And so if I wanted to call you she... Hey, look, you if, no, no, I'm, I'm playing off of what you're saying. If I wanted to call you she and her and miss, because that's my freedom of speech, and, and if everyone just called you that all the time, and that was the only thing. Can't you tell? I, I think that you think that you don't care because you've never had to face that. And it's a common trend among people who have never had to face uh, like transgender-related discrimination that you think it's not a big deal because you don't have to deal with it. I didn't say it. I didn't think it was a big deal. I said I didn't care if people called me that. Public institutions, but it does prevent us from accessing healthcare. It does prevent us from accessing other services. I'm not, I'm not arguing about your rights. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you realize that right now, if you were to kill a trans person, because only for the sole reason that they're trans, that would not be considered a hate crime. Sure, they could be convicted of murder, but not of a hate crime. And that's what this I don't bill, see what that's what this is. Actually, what this is. Is. Why don't the United States and get off by claiming temporary insanity? Because they were freaked out by the trans person. I am not claiming for a moment the people who don't fit into standard and traditional sexual categories or sexual identity categories this is don't about raise all sorts of trouble. They do. I just don't think that this is the way to fix it. In fact, I think... Do you not, do you not allow that legislative protection for discrimination for trans people? Not this way. You do not think that. That's right. I don't think Have you read the laws are intentionally worded? Bring as many Most laws involving human rights... ...much trouble to as many people as possible. What, what, would, we ga why? what would we gain from that? Of I didn't say it was a conspiracy. You think there is a concentrated effort behind these bills in order to specifically make the lives of people worse, and that's why we create human rights legislation to make it. I think that people. people to I think that people lives. often do things to make other people's lives worse, don't you? Well, clearly, as an example of this rally, I am probably the most fervent anti-statist you will ever meet. I am an anarchist, and I do not believe that anyone who writes legislation has the interest of anybody but themselves and their special interest groups at heart. So don't come at me saying that I. Want to suck off the nipple of the government, okay? Because that's not who I am. What I'm interested in is in, is in that people I love are being assaulted, are being killed, are being discriminated against, are being kicked out onto the street, are be are freezing to death in the winter because I'm they're being denied statue. shelter. And I feel. But pronouns are too much to ask for you to show solidarity can, towards those people. Can I just have a moment? Sorry. Look, we agree that this is a thing that's happening. We agree that it's a reprehensible thing. That's okay, happening. sure, let's agree on it. I, I mean, I don't think that that would be controversial to most people. I mean, apparently, I agree, some, I agree. apparently, people some people think. Apparently, to, apparently, to some people, we're freaks because we because we can't that have families or whatever. But but what? I, I, okay, whatever. Maybe that's maybe that's not something you agree with. I don't know. I'm not going to put words in your mouth now. Agree, agree what I fail to understand is how you honestly feel in your expert opinion as both an educator as an educated person that not calling somebody by by a pronoun that has been used to refer to no, I individual think it's, people. It's legislating, it, it's legislating it is a necessity that I have an objection to. Okay, so, 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 if, so if there was this legislation was not on the table, if this legislation fails, let's say, if this is removed, you would be totally fine referring to me with they, them pronouns. Probably not they and them. Probably not they and them. Why is no. that? Well, because I don't think it's a tenable solution. A I don't solution think it's to what? 
I don't think it's the solution to the to the problem that you're trying to solve. I mean, it's not. You look, think it's, it's not respect. that easy to track. I know that's how you. Look. You were I no, you were literally saying, saying you, you can make up a word and make that a child's name, and you would refer to them by that name. Why is it different for a pronoun? You so well, it's different it's because it's, it's different. Because no, it's, it's, it's not just as you were just asked. asked. It's different because it's a pronoun for a lot of reasons. So you I mean, one of the reasons it's different is that pronouns turn out to be very difficult to change. They're closed linguistic. Which is why we're using they them pronouns, which has historical continuity. Yeah, you it, see, I don't it, it is in the English language, it's in the Oxford English Dictionary. Years and years and years, 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 it's nothing as, new. As an educator, okay, hold on. Sorry, yeah, yeah. You were asked, would you refer to me using they, them pronouns? You said, no, I wouldn't. When asked why, you said, because I don't think it's a solution. When I brought up then, it was basic respect and so on. What you said was, oh, I wouldn't do it if I was like coerced or whatever you said. Somebody literally just asked, would you do this for me? And you said, no, I would not show you that respect. I would that not extend that amount of dignity to you. That's not what I yes, said. You said you that you would not say that pronoun no, 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 yes, I did say that. Nobody just, asked anything about if I came like with a club and asked you to like use certain pronouns what makes to you refer think, to me. What makes but you I think just asked, would you refer to me if it wasn't for this law and I asked you to refer to me with they, them pronouns, would you? And your answer was no. Not if I was compelled to. This but we're saying you if you weren't. You said no, and then when I started asking you about, you said it wasn't a solution. When you were asked, what is it not a solution to? You said something vague. We said it's about basic respect. And then you said not if I was compelled to. So no, when you were just asked, as a matter of respect, in fact, would you refer to a trans person who asked you to use the they, them pronouns, a pronoun which has a several not hundred if I was year historical... But we're, not that's if I not what we're talking so about. Yes, it is, because we it's just, legislation. We're saying if it wasn't legislation. It's not legislation. I've got to stop, guys. Look, 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 there's too many of you. Okay, one I, simple I, question. I've had enough. Sorry, I can't do this anymore. One simple question. If, no, I'm done. I thought we were statistically law, irrelevant. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like, law, <laughs> I don't exist. If a trans person asked you, would you please refer to me by they and them pronouns, would you refer to them by those pronouns? Well, it might depend on how they ask. So, no. Why do you have the authority said, to determine whether or not... Please refer to me... Why, why do I have the authority to determine what I say? Why do what you kind have, of question Why do you have that? the authority... <laughs> let me finish. Why do you have the authority to determine whether or not an individual is worthy of you using their pronouns? Like, if I asked you, would you please use they, them pronouns for me, what, what... It would depend on what, what I thought of your What hoops do you want us to jump through? Those what are my pronouns. Those are my There's pronouns. There's no motivation. No, I know. Like, no one ever has any motivation. We're Those trying to survive. To Politics are a product of our of our lives and us trying to live in this world. We're not trying to no, live in this world as a product uh, of our politics. Do you want me to send you I was apolitical before I came out as trans. I got into politics because I needed to to survive, to advocate against people like you, no offense. I have one quick question. Okay, so they, them pronouns are written into the Oxford English Dictionary, the Miriam Webster Dictionary. Um, it's actually the word of the year this year. Um, and so, and it is, it does have historical continuity all the way back to Shakespeare. It is objectively an English word, singular they pronouns, grammatically correct. Do you think that you can choose to not respect something that is in the English language as a professor, as an academic, I think that, I that you are going to, to do that? that you are, Absolutely. That, I am choosing that you're, to do that. But you're going, you're ignoring rules of the English language to go out of your way to disrespect students. That's your opinion. And I'm not going it to. It is my opinion. Opinion. We're saying it's disrespectful. Anyway, you don't get to decide what's disrespectful to us.